All right, so um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, this kind of created what, what we'll call a sort of logic stream, right, that has architectural sort of repercussions. Is the drop-off area and the parking area something that you guys might have to take into consideration in your design? Yes. Do you have to design an entrance? Do you guys understand the purpose of an entrance? Do you guys have to provide a ticket booth? You do. It's in your program. Do you have to provide bathrooms and service areas? Yes. You have to have a waiting area, right? You now know a little bit more about it. And you also, you should have already known this because it's in your program, right? And then finally, you know that you have to walk out to the bus. So we could kind of delineate that in steps. So let's say this is one, two, three, put this one as four. This one is five, and this one as six, okay? So that's the, let's call that the six steps to getting in there. Now let's switch off, okay, and create a different flow. This time we're doing it for the buses, okay? So now at the airport, can you just walk out onto the tarmac from anywhere around the airport and just cruise in, or is it fenced in? It's fenced in, right? The only people that can get on the airplane and get near the airplane are the people that bought a ticket. And they have to come through a certain place. They can't just come from everywhere, right? Bus is no different. You will notice that on your bus site, right, that there is a wall along one of the site sides. So if I use this as the example, right, I'm going to go ahead and draw this so that the little monitor can see it. Let's monitor the camera. There is a wall right here. And I'm going to hold this up right now so that the So there's that there's a wall along that property line. And the idea is that that wall is going to create a gateway, a rolling gate here or a swinging gate here and one at the other end over here so that the buses, right, basically they, they come as they're pulling up, they either radio in that they're arriving and then someone opens the gate for them and they pull in or they have a controller like you do for your garage door. They push the button, the gate opens and they pull in. But that implies that the area where the buses are is fenced in, okay? It's walled in, that you can't just walk off the sidewalk and jump on the bus. There's only one way to the buses, and that's through the entrance, past the ticket agent, past all the snack bars and stuff, past the waiting area to the bus, okay? The buses, on the other hand, are coming in, they're coming down the street, so step one, they're, they're approaching. So they approach the entrance. All right, so that's step one for them. Or let's call that A, right? B is gate open, gates open. Enter and park. Okay. Step C is load passengers. And luggage. So this right here C and number six are where they overlap. What do they do after they load the luggage? They open the exit gate. They open the exit gate and leave. The, the tickets are checked as you get on the bus, okay? 
So what we end up with is this scenario where we have where did my blue pen go? We have step one, enter the parking area or get dropped off. Step two, right, go to the entrance. Step three, get your ticket. Step four, right, go past the amenities, the vending area. Step five, go to the waiting area, indoor or outdoor. And then finally, step six, you get to the buses, right? The buses are going in the opposite direction. They're, they come in here and they, they have the approach gate open, right? Then they enter the gateway. Then finally, they load the passengers here at six. Then they back out, open the gateway, and they're on their way. Okay? So these two things kind of interact in that way, where this line ends is in the middle of this process. And it's important for you guys to sort of visualize that on your site. So if I put this, how many minutes are we at? At six, I'm going to put this back up here. I'm going to turn it around. All right, so there is the that that um, site plan that we've been working with. All right, what we want to do now is we want to take this thing and kind of think about it on the site. All right, so this up over it. Uh, not going to work, is it? Okay. If you're coming, let's first of all, we'll do the buses, right? So let's say your buses come in. So this is point one, right? Or point uh, A. So then they open the gate. This is B. Then they come in, they park. That's C. Then they back up, open the gate and then they finally leave, right? So the buses are somewhere. Now we've got to do the other sequence. So here's your parking area. You've already figured out where your entrance is, but now is where you have to start to think about the inside of the building, okay? Your, the building has kind of a linear arrangement. The linear arrangement is directly related to this line. The entrance comes first, right? Or actually the parking lot comes first, the entrance comes second, the ticket area comes third. So now you have, to, you have to start to take this sequence and apply it to your project. And there's different ways that you can go about it. So um, I'm kind of out of room, but I'll, I'll see if I can delineate something over in here. So let's say we have, a sh our building is shaped something like this, right? And let's say that Step one is out here. Step two is the entrance. Step three is the ticket booth. Step four is the vending areas. And finally, this is step five, which is the waiting area. We'll call it 5A and 5B because we have an outdoor waiting area. And then the buses, which are out in front of us, is step six. So notice that it's, it's a linear sort of con condition, right? One comes before two, comes before three, comes before four. So one of the ways that you can do that is to simply run a line through like that. But there's other ways to go about doing the same thing. So for example, if you have, if your building is shaped like this and your entrance happens to be on the side here, so let's say your entrance is there, you could come in and you could have your ticket area here so you have your entrance, your ticket, you could run people down into a ticket area, right? Your amenities and stuff can be over on this side so that somebody would come in. Let me use a different color. Somebody would come in through the entrance, pass the ticket area, then they would come back up this way, get to the waiting area here, and then finally go out to the buses. Now it's your turn to, to come up with a design 
right, that creates these checkpoints. Understanding that the bus area is going to be completely fenced in, partially by your building and partially by walls that you have to design. Okay? All right. So go ahead and stop that video.